I'm Angelica Gonzalez, and this is your Santa Barbara Newswire update. Facebook was recently given a new purpose for today's media-centric society, when a 19-year-old boy was accused of a crime at a bank, and his status update contributed to his release. Ronnie Bradford was accused of a robbery in New York City, and he spent almost two weeks in jail. He updated his Facebook status at the same time of the robbery, and this was used as evidence to free him from the crime. Who knew that Facebook could be used as a form of legal evidence? On to some other bizarre news. Former Miss California Carrie Prejean has continued her Prejean ways. After suing the Miss Universe pageant for what she claimed was religious discrimination because of her disagreement to same-sex marriage, she recently threatened to walk off an interview with Larry King. During her interview on Larry King Live, King asked her why she settled the pageant lawsuit. She claimed that such information was confidential. After King changed the topic to a phone call, she stated that such questions were inappropriate. She then began to take off her mic. Although she wanted to avoid the topic of her lawsuit settlement, a settlement was reached after lawyers got a hold of a graphic home video involving Prejean. This has been your Santa Barbara Newswire update. Remember to catch Newswire right here on Channel 21 or check us out online at sbchannels.net. I'm Angelica Gonzalez and you've just been wired.